You say in your book that mind control slaves were permitted any drug except marijuana. Why? It's an excellent question. The effects of marijuana on the brain are not conducive to mind control. It doesn't mean you can't be traumatized and put under mind control. It just means it screws up the programming. Because it actually opens neuron pathways in the brain. It, it expands thought. I'm not going to stand here and be, um, speak pro-marijuana because... No, because somebody will be putting it in my car and <laughs> popping me for it. <laughs> <laughs> but I am anti-marijuana anti because we see all these ads on TV and everything, and, and even, even uh, Dole and Clinton in, in their campaigns are saying, what's it, Dole said, um, um, guns, violence, and marijuana, you know, as if, as if it's so violent because it is not conducive to mind control. They want it off the streets more than they want their drugs like cocaine off the street. Marijuana is especially targeted. Um, I don't promote the use of marijuana as a band-aid for um, mind control because, again, knowledge is our only defense against it.